In the past, the French have been generally somewhat apathetic about golf. A game pour les riches, as they say over here. Elitist, anything but egalitarian. But this view, amongst the proletariat, is changing fast. Social media is one area where female pros really outscore their male counterparts. Twitter, Instagram and Facebook pages like Morgan Pressel's are regularly updated, allowing fans into their lives both on and off the course. Smile. <laughs> oh, I can't see. All right, I'll go on the other side. Let's try one more. Yay. Golf is at a crossroads. In the professional arena, the game is as exciting as ever. Now, while Tiger Woods may not be the dominant player he once was, his legacy has left a new breed of gifted young players coming to the fore, headed by Rory McIlroy, the new standout star in the game. Jack, how strong is the pro game right now, in your opinion? Well, I think the pro game actually is in pretty good shape. Mr. Palmer, it's a great pleasure to see you. Nice to see you, thank you. I'm just curious as to what the sport was like when you turned professional, when you made that decision in the 50s. You know, what was the landscape like? What was golf like in those days? Well, golf was coming on. It wasn't anywhere near the magnitude that it is today. This month, Living Golf has come to the Persian Gulf and to Abu Dhabi, Qatar, and here in Dubai to profile the European Tour's Middle East swing. These three big profile, big money events held in fine weather, in successive weeks, in close proximity, represent the best way to prepare for the season ahead. How does Ricky Fowler handle the, the kind of media attention, the circus, the, the interest levels that have obviously increased about you? Well, you're here talking to me, so uh, <laughs> I'm doing something right. In 2022, the FIFA World Cup will be staged here. This is one of the major stadiums at the moment being reconstructed. And being here in Doha, you can't help but appreciate the amount of hard work that's going into creating a sporting legacy that can match Qatar's undoubted financial muscle. None more so than right here, Aspire Academy. Amongst the select list of greatest golfers to ever play the game, no one has quite the same aura or mystique as Ben Hogan. You know, you're very much an ambassador for Ireland, really. I mean, I'm sure that's something that you take a great, an enormous amount of pride in. I do take pride in that. That's nice, you know, that, that people in Ireland do appreciate what I've done. Spend some time in and around St Andrews, and you get a feeling that the grandfather of golf is alive and well, in spirit at least. Now, Tom, how many shots are you going to give me? Well, you're an amateur player, are you? I am. Oh, well, I'll give you a third. It means you get shot every third hole. It's been very generous. But... So, come on, what's the real secret to playing the old course, Tom? Well, you'll, you'll see for yourself that most of the trouble is down the right, so just keep the ball left to centre. 